everyone. Mina san, konnichiwa. Sorry I didn't hear you. I was tuned in to my favorite radio station. But now, listen up, because we're going to learn 10 phrasal verbs connected to listening and hearing. Welcome to Jen's Jugyo. My name is Jen, and today I want you to listen up. Please hear me out, because you're going to learn 10 phrasal verbs that are all connected to listening and hearing. The very first phrasal verb that you could hear me say was listen up. Listen up is a phrasal verb, listen is the verb, and up is the preposition. When you put a verb plus a preposition together, it creates a new non-literal meaning called a phrasal verb. So the phrasal verb listen up has nothing to do with the direction of up. Listen up means to listen carefully. So usually this phrasal verb is used when somebody has something important that they need to share with a group of people. So when I hear this phrasal verb, I think of maybe a coach of a sports team. I played softball when I was a child. So I picture my coach gathering my teammates and I and saying, all right, girls, listen up. This is what we've got to do next. All right. So listen up is usually used as a command and you're telling people to listen carefully because what you're about to say is important. So listen up. <laughs> Our second phrasal verb for today is to hear someone out. Hear me out. So if someone asks you to hear them out, it means they want you to listen up, listen carefully without interrupting them. If you hear me out, hear me out, it means that you are listening to everything that I have to say and waiting until I'm finished before you make your own comment. So. For today's lesson, please hear me out and don't tune out until the very end. Phrasal verb number three is listen for. So if you are listening for something, it means that you are making your ears prepared to hear a particular sound, okay? So maybe if you are a new parent, you're very used to listening for your baby, okay? Or perhaps my husband and I have just ordered dinner with Uber, but I need to go to the washroom. So, hey, honey, I'm going to the bathroom. Please listen for the doorbell. Uber Eats should be here soon. Speaking of Uber Eats, if you've never used it before and would like to save $5 off your first order, I'll put my Uber Eats code in the description. So check it out if you want to save money on food. Phrasal verb number four is hear of, to hear of something or hear of someone. So to hear of something or someone means that you know that it exists. You are aware of the existence of that thing. You have some, a little bit of information about that topic, right? So many times if I talk to people who are not Canadian and I ask them, oh, have you ever heard of Colin Mockery? They might say no. If you've never heard of Colin Mockery, which maybe you haven't, he was one of my favorite Canadian comedians. So to hear of someone means that you know about that person. You know that they exist. You're aware of their existence. The phrasal verb hear of can also be used in a negative sense. If somebody says that they won't hear of something, it means that they refuse to accept that situation and they don't want you to talk about it. I won't hear of it, I won't hear of it. So maybe someone gives me some advice that they think is good advice and I think it's terrible advice. No, I won't hear of it. Phrasal verb number five is hear about. If you hear about something, it means that you have gotten some news, you have received some information about an event or a person or something happening, right? So I was shocked when I watched the news and heard about floods that were happening due to global warming. I heard about it on the news. 
Phrasal verb number six is listen in. Listen in. This phrasal verb means that you are secretly listening to a conversation that you should not be listening to. So you can also use the word eavesdrop. Shh! I'm listening in on their conversation. Some conspiracy theorists believe that the government is always listening in on our phone conversations. Phrasal verb number seven is hear from. So specifically, it's hear from somebody. So if you hear from somebody, it means that that person has contacted you in some way. You've had some communication with that person. So you can hear from someone if you get a phone call from them or hear from them if you get a text message or email or maybe someone writes a letter. You have some kind of correspondence, you hear from that person. Oh, I got some bad news. I heard from the doctor today. Oh my goodness, I just heard from my friend that you got a promotion. Congratulations. Phrasal verb number eight is tune in. Tune in. So at the very beginning of this lesson, you could hear me say that I was tuned in to my favorite radio station. The phrasal verb tune in is connected to some kind of radio or TV broadcast. And if you tune into a certain channel or station or program, it means that you are listening to, and in the case of TV, watching that show. So you should tune in to more Jen's Jugio videos when they are released on Fridays and Mondays. Phrasal verb number nine is tune out. La 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 la, I can't hear you. I'm tuning you out. If you tune someone or something out, it means that you stop listening to them and you stop paying attention. So sometimes when I was a high school student in my science class, I tuned out my science teacher. He would talk and talk and I would just sit there daydreaming, completely tuning him out. Don't tune out your teachers. <laughs> Sometimes when I'm talking to my husband, I think he tunes me out. And our final phrasal verb for today, phrasal verb number 10 is to hear something through someone. So this means that you are hearing about some kind of information from a specific person, usually someone who is close to you, right? So I heard through some mutual friends that this other girl I know is getting a divorce. I heard through. Now, if we take this phrasal verb, it's often used in a very common idiom. And that idiom is to hear something through the grapevine. I heard it through the grapevine. This idiom means that you have maybe been able to hear some kind of rumor or gossip from somebody who is very close to you. And the rumor or gossip is usually connected to a person who you all know. I heard through the grapevine that the principal of my school has to retire early because they had an affair with a student. So today, you learned 10 different phrasal verbs, all connected to listening and hearing. I hope that these phrasal verbs will be really useful for you in your conversations. And now it's time for question of the day. Today, I have two questions for you. The first question is, how did you hear about Jen's Jugio? And the second question is, what do you do if someone won't hear you out? Let me know in the comments below. Thank you so much for watching this video. Thank you for hearing me out to the very end. If you found this video useful, please subscribe to my channel so that you don't miss any videos. And consider giving this video a thumbs up. Mina, thank you. Gambate ne. Jane. Listen up. Don't forget to tune in every Monday and Friday to Jen Studio for new video lessons to help you improve your English. See you in the next lesson. Mm.